FAA is now investigating what went wrong with the launch of SpaceX. Not only did the launch pad get destroyed, the Starship blew up before separating from its boosters. Luckily, no injuries or property damage was reported. And all of this has many wondering what is next for SpaceX. Our John Salazar spoke with some supporters of the company as they clean up debris. Well, I'm standing, give or take, about 200 yards away from the launch pad, and there you can see what remains of the legs that were heavily damaged by the rocket taken off on Thursday. State Highway 4 is now open, but more importantly, stargazers are in this open field looking at what the rocket left behind. Regardless of last week's big blow up, high in the South Texas sky. This is one of the most monumental building projects that there is going on in our time. On the ground, in the massive debris field, SpaceX supporters like Robert Opel. We're building a rocket that's gonna go to the moon. Employ an analogy all Earthlings might relate to describe Elon Musk's latest setback. You're gonna make some mistakes. I mean, when I first started walking, I didn't walk perfect. I was a baby and I would stumble, ah, and I'd get up and my children, my, my family would cheer, and so we kept going, and that's what we gotta have here. We gotta have people cheering everybody on. Before the world's largest rocket could lift upward, 33 powerful Raptor engines thrust so much heat and energy below, the concrete and steel launch pad peeled apart, splintering as far as the eye can see. Well, we as humans have been tearing up a lot of stuff uh, all along the way, and we're getting better at it. And Elon and his group are trying to be really good about being good, about not tearing it up. And here's some of what was tore up. Thick metal housing plates ripped from the launch tower, components exposed. At the base, engineers stare at twisted rebar and concrete. Hundreds of feet east towards the Gulf of Mexico, the curious walk by a thrown piece of large aluminum steel. In the salt flat south, concrete and steel scatter for thousands of yards. Developing the technology by practice, by a couple of errors maybe. From above, before 48 hours of fast cleanup, aerial images show Texas Highway 4 peppered with concrete and destroyed sections of the launch pad, and a piece of the road appears shredded. Anything Eon touches, it's never finished. Perhaps this 12 to 15 inch thick, five foot wide concrete slab reveals the launch power best. This busted block was flung some hard estimates 200 yards in the air, then rolled like a tire at least another 100 yards, leaving a carved path as evidence. And it's just one more step. SpaceX diehard Larry Davis agrees with Robert. Progress for all of humanity ain't as ugly as all of this looks. This is beautiful. This is gorgeous. This is humanity learning the next step to get to the next evolution of knowledge. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. And for more refreshing stories about your community, click the subscribe button right over here. You can also download our Spectrum News app to get live news coverage, weather alerts, and more wherever you are. And don't forget to tune in to Channel 55 on DISH and DirecTV for live local reporting every single day. We'll see you then.